Hi everyone, Jay here. In this instructional video, we're going to talk about how easy it is to terminate wire path fiber cable using our LC and our SC fiber connectors. Before we begin, let's take a look at some of the tools we're going to need. The visual fault locator or VFL tool, the cable strippers, micro gauge, cable scissors, and last, the precision wheel cleaver. Let's move on to termination. We're going to start out with the SC connector, but you'll notice that many of the steps are the same for both connector types. First, using the outer notch on the cable strippers, cut two inches back from the end of the cable jacket. Pull the Kevlar strands aside, leaving the blue fiber exposed in the middle. Next, we're going to scrape back the blue soft peel coating from the outside of the fiber. Both the SC and the LC connector require 12 millimeters of soft peel coating between the cable jacket and the exposed fiber during termination. The best part is you can easily use your fingernail to scrape this off. You'll see that I initially left too much soft peel coating on there. That's because it's easier to take more soft peel coating off than it is to cut and start over. You'll see why we cut two inches of fiber at the end of the cable. Too little fiber and these pads will not allow the cable to cut cleanly. Too much and you'll have waste. This is where termination of the two connectors differs. For the SC connector, the end of the jacket should be at the 28 millimeter mark. For the LC connector, the end of the jacket should be at the 24 millimeter mark. Now it's time to cleave the fiber to the correct length. Simply close the top of the cleaver, close the waste bin, Press the button and the fiber is cleaved. For termination of the SC connector, begin by removing the threaded connector boot. Remove the connector cover and dust cap and place the end of the connector onto the VFL tool. Turn the light on and make sure that you see red light visible in the window. To terminate the LC connector, the steps are almost exactly the same as the SC. In order to terminate though, an adapter is included with the VFL tool. Place the adapter onto the end of the tool. Remove the dust cap and the threaded boot from the LC connector and place it onto the VFL. Again, check and make sure that you see a red light in the window. Place the threaded boot over the end of the cable. Then press the exposed fiber into the opening of the connector until the VFL light dims in the window and you see a slight bow in the fiber. Push the activator slide tab over to lock the fiber in place, then remove the connector from the VFL tool. A little pressure on the fiber won't hurt anything. It's in place pretty good. As a matter of best practice, it's a good idea to replace the dust cap after removing the connector from the VFL. Then pull the Kevlar strands to one side of the clamshell and close the connector. Then begin threading the boot onto the connector. After the threads are 90% of the way there, cut the remaining Kevlar strands using the cable scissors and finish by threading the boot the rest of the way. For the SC connector, the only thing left to do is put the connector cover back onto the top of the connector. As you can see, terminating wire path fiber in the field is very easy thanks to the soft peel coating, no polishing required, and no chance of splinters in your fingers. It's also really easy to test when you get done. Use your included VFL and connect it to one end of your cable. At the other end of the cable, you should see a very bright red light if everything's good. If you don't see the bright red light, you have a problem if it's dim or if it's out. As always, feel free to call our tech support department if you're having trouble, and happy installing. 